For nearly a century, eight monarchs ruled the Kingdom of Hawaii. You can find vestiges of their lives all over Honolulu today, but you can find their spirit in one place, Mauna Ala, just down the road from the Queen Emma Summer Palace. This is the Royal Mausoleum, where many of Hawaii's elite are buried. Today, this building is the chapel. But when Mauna Ala was built in Oahu's Nu'uanu Valley, it was the mausoleum. It was here that the bodies of Kamehameha IV and his son were brought in 1864. Before long, the coffins of previous rulers and other royals were brought to join them. What happened was about 9 to 2 o'clock in the morning, 9 p.m. to 2 in the morning, the commoners were told, you stay inside your house because something's going to take place tonight that you don't have the rank, the mana, to witness. They lined from down there, down at the bottom, Nuwanu Avenue, from the Pokokaina all the way up with pili grass so that the horses and the wheels wouldn't make any noise as they brought the carriages about one casket at a time. And the family chanter chanted the Kamehameha genealogies from 9 p.m. all the way to 2 in the morning as each body was brought up and placed in this very room. This is the Kamehameha tomb. There's about 20 people buried under there. A second crypt was built on this 2.7 acre property and it's the resting place of King David Kalakaua and Queen Lilio Kalane, the last monarch.